Welcome to Growing in Grace Sunday School. It's wonderful to be with you this spring day. Let's look at our calendar and see where we are in the lectionary, the church year. Here we go all the way around. Christmas, Epiphany, Transfiguration, Lent, Palm Sunday, Easter, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's Easter six today. And the color here is gold. And on our altar is what color? Yep, white, white. Now I want you to peek ahead a little bit. We have a little more of the Easter season left and then there's another color. Can you come to the Pentecost vigil and wear a red shirt? Some of our kids are being baptized and our teens and are being confirmed. I'm so excited. So look and see if you have a red shirt and come at 5.30 at the Pentecost Vigil, okay? Now, today's gospel is abiding in God's love. Last Sunday, we learned that Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. And if we abide or stay in him, we bear much fruit. And that fruit is, you get that fruit from telling everybody about Jesus how he died and rose again and saved us from our sins. And today's gospel tells us to abide in that love. Now, Jesus doesn't call us a servant anymore. He calls us his friend. Can you do that, two fingers? Friend. You switch it over and over. So Jesus calls us his friend. And in order to be his friend, we do what he commands, which is following those 10 commandments and loving everybody. So we are going to remember today to love one another and follow his commandments by making something fun and using some hearts and people to remind us that we have to love everyone. Okay, now we're going to make special fancy Play-Doh. Here's our clay. Let me show you how we're going to make it. But first I'm going to get someone to come and give me a hand. And here's Deaconess. Hi Deaconess, Hi. elbows. <laughs> so let me just show you each clay. This clay is made out of shaving cream the cheapest you can buy, and cornstarch, right from the supermarket. I got these on sale, they were two fours. So Deaconess is going to make some shape for us, shapes for us to go with our lesson today about loving one another. Deaconess, what shapes do you have there? I have a little person, and I have hearts, and the Another little person. <laughs> yeah, and the rolling pins. And the rolling because pins. Because Jesus tells us to love everyone, love one another, and love everyone. Okay, so Deaconess, I'm wondering, uh, do you need that tray to put the, uh, yeah. maybe you should get that. Well, this, I made ahead of time one recipe of the clay, and I added color. This is what color the clay is to begin with. 
it's a white because the shaving cream is white and the um, cornstarch is white. And then I added some red food color and got pink, yellow, purple, and green. So Deaconess is going to make some um, love everyone pictures while we, not pictures, um, clay, clay people, while we mix some cornstarch. Now, we have our aprons on because it can get messy. So the recipe calls for what I found doesn't work. But we're going to start with two cups of cornstarch. This you can get in the supermarket. One. Now each box has about uh, four, three to four cups in it. I used some already, so I have another box here. So I'm putting two cups of cornstarch in. And then, whoa, that has a little bit more. It's okay, it doesn't matter. And then the recipe says one cup of uh, shaving cream. But I found that wasn't enough. But I am going to measure by the cup, and I'm gonna put two cups in, okay? Here we go, Deaconess, you ready for this? It's so much fun. Here we go. You mind holding that for me? Cool. <laughs> Ooh -hoo. One cup, can you dump that in? Oh, I think you need a spoon. Uh -oh. Two cups. Okay, so you start with two cups. And if you want to make a color, you use some food color or um, food gel color to mix it into a color. I separated all of these. Um, in different bowls to make some color. So Deacon has scooped some uh, cream in here for me, shaving cream, and I'm mixing it up as much as I can. And once you get mixed up as much as you can, you have to add your hands to the mixture and mix it around and knead it with your hands. So this is two cups and two cups of each. So I'm going to try to mix it. Here we go. What do you think, Deaconess? Hey. It's pretty gooey. <laughs> I think. <laughs> now, I'm mixing it up, but it's not really staying together. So I'm going to have to add. It's staying together a little bit, but it comes apart too easily more. Deaconess, are you able to yeah. add some more of that? Give me another cup. Thank you. Woo-hoo! <laughs> there we go. So that's, so far it's three cups of shaving cream. We'll see how that goes. Now the good thing about this recipe is that if you make a mistake, you just add some more of the other thing. So I'm gonna mix it all up. And I'm gonna mix it up and mix it up. And we're gonna stop here for a second, Deaconess, because I'm gonna mix it and we'll come back when it's all mixed. Hi, we're back. Well, I mixed up our clay. Now, this kind of shaving cream, I used almost four cups for two cups of cornstarch. I know there are other kinds, so it depends on what you need. So you start with the two cups of cornstarch and you add two cups or one or two cups of um, shaving cream and you start to mix it with a spoon. So we did mix it with a spoon and then you have to mix it and and um, what do you call that, Deaconess, when you're making bread? Knead it. Knead it. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I needed help with that. <laughs> um, you need the bread. You don't need the bread. You need the Play-Doh. So you knead it and knead it. And this is the point that if you want to break off a piece and put it in another bowl and make it a color. Now, so that's it. If you have any questions, please give me a call at the church office. Now, Deaconess wants to show you what she made to show how abiding in Jesus, uh-oh, Jesus, can you tell which one is Jesus? There, Jesus is on a heart and is a heart because he loves us so much. So, and there are all of our friends and we abide in Jesus and Jesus is our friend. You know what I'm going to say now? Try it at home. Bye, loves. Take care.
Mikado, is this your yarn? It sure is. There's so much of it. Yeah, I'm making warm fuzzies for the entire congregation. Well, that seems like a lot of work. It is a huge amount of work. But if it makes Jesus happy. Jesus? Yeah, I'm working for Jesus full time now. And let me tell you, he expects a lot. I didn't know he was hiring. Great chat, Clara, but I got fuzzies to make. Got to impress the big boss. Otto, why are you cleaning that car with a toothbrush? It's called detailing, Clara. I want to make sure this car is spotless for whoever owns it. You don't know whose car this is? Well, yeah. I'm spontaneously washing complete strangers' cars. I wouldn't want Jesus to think I'm slacking off and fire me. I don't think Jesus fires people. <laughs> That's a good one, Clara. You know, Otto, you look really tired. I'm exhausted. All this pressure to not disappoint Jesus. Having him as a boss is a lot to live up to. Ah, well, we gotta get back to it. Huh? Hi, Clara. Ah! Otto? Yep. What are you doing in there? I'm volunteering overseas. That's gotta show Jesus that I'm the hardest worker he has. But why are you going in a box? International flights are expensive. Ah, shy is the my boy, Extraordinary chest boy Uh, don't you need more air holes? No time! Here comes the mail carrier. Gotta keep the boss happy. Is Jesus really our boss? I thought he was our friend. I mean, that's what he told the disciples. See you in a month. Delivery. Otto? Otto? <sighs> oh, Clara, thank goodness I'm back. Well, that was fast. You've only been gone since this morning. Did you make it overseas? No, I didn't put enough postage on. But I did have a lot of time to think in that box, Clara. And I realized that you were right. Jesus isn't my boss. He's my friend. How did you figure it out? Well, Sharita really helped straighten me out. Who's Sharita? She's a second shift floor manager at the mail distribution center. Uh, oh. She said that Jesus doesn't want to boss us around. Jesus loves us and wants to work with us to share his message of love with everyone. Well, that's a relief. Yeah. She also told me that it's technically not legal to mail yourself. Yeah. Just think, how would you go to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, that was no problem. Sight, 
the Savior has made all things right. The Son of God has conquered night and reigns in everlasting light. The wondrous news now quickly shares everyone, and welcome back to Sunday School, growing in grace and learning more. Thankful to the Lord for his gifts and blessings, let us call upon him together as we take our right hands and place them on our foreheads and say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Together, let's fold our hands to remember that Jesus holds our hands and bow our heads because Jesus is our King and close our eyes to focus on Jesus as we speak to him in prayer. Repeat after pastor, dear Jesus, thank you for coming to us through your holy word. Open our hearts to receive and share all your blessings. In your name we pray, amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Thankful to the Lord for this season in which we celebrate the Lord's rising from the dead and everything that means in our lives. Let us hear God's holy word from the Holy Bible, from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 15th chapter. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment that you love one another, just as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I've called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I've heard from my father. You did not choose me, it is I who chose you and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The word of the Lord. Jesus died on the cross for us, and he rose from the dead for us, all because he loves us. That means he cherishes us, he embraces us, he understands us, and he receives us into himself. That amazing love that God has for us in Jesus Christ is the love that finds us in the waters of holy baptism, connecting us to Jesus, death and resurrection. It is the love that feeds us as we eat Jesus' body and blood in the holy communion. And it is the love that forgives us as we are absolved all the things that we've done in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This abiding love of God in Christ Jesus 
becomes the basis for our love, not only for God, but for each other. God calls us not only to love him in response to his love, but to love each other as well. What does that look like? Well, it means that we're not going to be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. It means that because God has called us his friends who follow his commandments, that we call other people our friends as we love each other. God calls us to abide in his love, to stay there, remain there, and in remaining in the love that God has for us, we then get to share that love with all the people we meet. We're not strangers, we're friends, brought close to God through Jesus Christ. God calls us to embrace those who might feel like strangers around us. Maybe their names are different than ours. Maybe they look different. They speak differently. They have and like different foods. They go to different places or they wear different clothing. Maybe they even have different ideas in their brains. God has still called us to love, for he has loved all of us. And he calls us into his life where love becomes the norm for all of us. We didn't choose God, he chose us. And now he calls us as his church to go and choose to love other people around us, even if they're not very nice to us. I'm certain and sure that as the Lord has given us these commands, he is moving by the power of his spirit to inspire us to do them. It's not always easy to love people, especially the ones who aren't very nice to you. But God in his mercy and grace will continue to fill you with his spirit as he meets you in his holy word so that you can let his resurrection and his power and his love be made known in all the loving things that you do as we look forward to the day when he comes back and renews all creation. As he does and as we look to that day, let us call upon him in prayer as together we fold our hands to remember that Jesus holds our hands and bow our heads because Jesus is our King and close our eyes to focus on Jesus as we speak to him in prayer. Repeat after Pastor, Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Help us to love you and to love each other. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty be upon you and remain with you forever, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They see how he made us to